Hello, I'm Jim Ayala, Assistant Superintendent of the Business Services Division for Colton Joe Unified School District. would like to take just a few minutes to talk about a lot of changes that are going on throughout the district in terms of new construction projects and modernization projects. In November of 2008, we were successful in passing getting voter approval of Bond Measure G, which is a $225 million bond authorization. Since that time, we've been successful in selling nearly half of that authorization. Combining those proceeds with the remaining balance that was available that, at that time from the previous bond measure B, as well as funding that was available at that time from the state matching program, we've been able to get a lot done in recent years, and there are other projects uh, yet to come. In recent years, our major projects that we've been able to complete was the construction and opening of Grand Terrace High School, uh, the construction and opening of Joe Baca Middle School. Additionally, at that same time, we were able to build and open uh, brand new math and science buildings at both Bloomington High School and at Colton High School. These are major structures, roughly 40,000 square feet in size. Also, during the same time frame in recent years, and we continue to carry, uh, roll these projects out, are less visible but still very important modernization projects at various schools throughout the district. These projects are focused primarily on modernizing our classrooms, primarily at our elementary schools. But the objective there is to turn these into state-of-the-art classrooms. So we're talking about technology upgrades, lighting, HVAC, doing everything we can to give our students state-of-the-art classrooms. So that's what's been going on in recent years. And as I say, we continue to roll our projects. The next major project for Colton Joint Unified is going to be a brand new football stadium at Bloomington High School. Again, this is the result of being able to use our bond proceeds. Uh, that project is nearing completion of the design phase. That's the result of a collaboration of our Board of Trustees, site administration, school site personnel, input from the public. Uh, that project is on schedule. Uh, it will be going to the state for approval, and as I say, because it's on schedule, we're very confident that that project will break ground within the next 12 months. Additionally, uh, we do have, of course, a football stadium at Colton High School, but it's an old stadium in need of a lot of work. We are going to moderni modernize that stadium, make it a state-of-the-art football stadium as well. That project is also going through the divine, uh, design phase, and it will follow the Bloomington High School project. Two other major projects in the wings. Those projects are contingent upon being able to sell more major G bonds, but I'm talking about multi-purpose rooms at both Bloomington High School and at Colton High School. Those uh, projects have been designed, approved by the state, so we're ready to go as soon as we can sell more bonds. Uh, those structures each are about 40,000 square feet in size. So uh, we're very proud, very happy that we're able to do all these projects. This is all about providing a better learning environment for our students, and equally important is providing a better work environment for our employees. And primarily I'm referring to our most valuable resource, and that of course is our teachers. So as, we, uh, as these projects move forward and as we get more projects uh, to roll out, we will continue to update you. So thank you very much.